Hello everyone, this is episode 2 of our world box series and as you guys can see last episode we created two different human factions and we have the village of Velaki ruled by none other than the evil tyrant himself Strahd von Zarevich if you see right here who is a fat eagle eyed blessed immortal energized wise symbol of wealth as you can see and Burger Town which is ruled by um, Ronald who's a honest genius blessed immortal energized wise and also simple of wealth but we're gonna go ahead and pick up from where we were last time and I'm thinking you know what let's go ahead and add in another race in here let's do some elves and I think what would be really cool is making making the elves right here maybe in this little island right here put five down right there let's go ahead and let them set their world up they call it naughty <laughs> with literally three a's like naughty let's go ahead and let's change this up if we go to civilizations that's the name of the village the kingdom is yedinetona Yidnetona of Earth. I don't think we're gonna call it that. Okay, let's go ahead and let's call him El Nahir. El Nahir. That's what we're calling them. El Nahir. And we're gonna call them Kingdom of Nahir. Let's call them the Kingdom of Nahir. Or the Honest Nahir. Because they are noble. And let's just... Nahir, let's just kind of make them all um, one thing. Nahir, culture. Nahir, the honest Nahir is their kingdom. And the village of Nahir. So let's check them out. They, all of, I think the elves are weightless. Yeah, so lighter. As light as a feller, even ice won't break underneath them. They've got a genius amongst them that will really help them out. And let's go ahead and make this genius our go-to guy to make him kind of like the de facto leader. He is now immortal and energized if we give him some rain. Let's throw him back in here. Oh, well, you know what? Let's name this guy O Fortuna. O Fortuna. If you guys have uh, never heard that, you gotta check it out. I'll play it in the background. Here he is. So here we go, El Nahir. You know what, let's... O Fortuna. That's what we're gonna call them, O Fortuna. We got our first elves, and obviously they're gonna be so far behind compared to Burger Town, who's just popping off right now. And we've got some fast people. They've got some copper. You know, there's Ronald over there. And here is Strahd and his people. Um, obviously, you know, they're getting up there in numbers. They're starting to actually start to conquer this entire island, which is going to be really good for them. The more land that they have, the more people they can have, the more powerful Strahd von Zarevich will become. Burger Town? If we check him, I can click on it and it'll tell us how many chunks they've loaded in. A hundred? How is Valaki looking? A hundred and nine. They are popping off. They're going. They're going in hard. Yeah, and they're, they're working on their crops. They've got barracks. They've decided to put their port around the back. I don't know if that was the smart idea. Um, obviously, they can't go anywhere up there. But you know what? Maybe they're thinking in case of an invasion that they can launch their boats. But I would say, if anything, that's not good for them. Because they're going to have to circle around their entire island to be even able to do anything. So we've got our elves. How are they looking right now? They're starting to build up. they got some green houses, which I think is nice. They're starting to grow some crops. They've got some stone down here i don't know if they have any gold there's some silver gold all the way down here so if they're able to make it down here where there's a ton of wolves it looks like they've just ravished this entire yeah all this area down here has been completely taken over i like this it's like a circle it's very different and unique i like that a lot i'm gonna go ahead and put i'm gonna put our dwarves down here and you know what we're gonna put down quite a bit of dwarves let them go ahead and go ahead and get started off here von ador uh, von ador i like that name i think that's a great name they are mighty von ador great deg krill let's call them the great deg or let's dig dare deg hmm how about this dare 
to dig. So we've got Dare to Dig, Nahir, the Whopper, and the Morning Lord. We've got quite an interesting array now. And time is going to let us know what is going to happen. The Whopper, which is our... Oh gosh, if I can go here. Megopolis. Uh, they have hit 200 humans. First achievement off this game. They have hit 200. Burger Town has really started to grow into its island. They're really starting to settle. Growing tons of crops. The people are thriving. They are happy. They are starting... Let's check out their culture. Culture, speed, uh, spread. So they're starting to spread their culture. And that's not going to matter a ton unless possibly they start settling in other lands, which is not going to be a problem because if you see, they only have docks. They have not unlocked the ability to fish nope no one has uh they're getting armor and they're about to get it in like a couple seconds yep they have armor now they're gonna start getting armor which is gonna be a big deal if they start to go to war with anyone else i'm gonna go ahead and say strahd is evil so what we're gonna do here is because strahd is so evil he is gonna cause war on anyone that is not conquered by him he does not enjoy the presence of the idea of anyone else being in charge of any kingdom other than himself. He is truly, uh, I would say, a narcissist in the lands. And God bless those who run into him. He is going to be out to get you. So we've got Vana Adhor. These dwarves are starting, most of the, I think all dwarves are inherently miners. Is that right? Increased chances to get gems from mines i think gems not i a time ago gems were used to i think advance your culture so they actually just declared that the dwarves have finally made a king so let's check out let's see who they've declared as their king they have made a bloodlust that's great let's go ahead and let's find him and let's go ahead and give him a favor we're gonna take him and we're gonna tough love it's re it's really tough love out here there you go you can rule your people forever gore he hal gore he hal so we've got strad von zarevich ronald gore he hal and o fortuna who is also ruling over the town of o fortuna and they're going they're going they're really building up these nice I like these houses they're like huts yeah agile slow it's funny so it's it's going they are starting to build up their own cultures and worlds burger town looks beautiful i love the way it looks um but we've got their docks up and going but man they're going slow let's let's it's cranked up to five let's go ahead and let these guys develop for a little bit so i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna put these guys on supersonic speed so if you don't know how to do that remember go your settings i think it's 11 times go over to supersonic speed and let it go okay so i'll be back in just a second guys and we'll see the year let's say 350 i'll be back okay i am back it is year 352 the locky is blowing up it is at 270 275 280 they are growing and they're kind of going up and down still level 15 still working on the secrets the dwarves are still just so far behind they're only level six. Oh, fortuna oh wow they have bumped up in population tremendously it is 139 currently wow and uh, they're really far behind in tech but i mean they started really late and burger time is just i feel like maybe they might be i mean they are doing really well oh they're getting into trading that's gonna really help them out but they they're doing really well with their intelligence level but i'm worried if you look at them it looks like this may be the cap for them unless they can come over to this area ronald is more focused on mining minerals and he's probably been sent a letter by strahd von zarevich saying that they are destined to be enemies for life he's been what kind of name is that Ignis Herziander. I think that's the best I can say it. Ignis Herziander. Created by Ronald. He was created by Ronald. <laughs> by the king himself 128 years ago it's not a bad it's a legendary weapon not a bad weapon this guy poor guy ugly fat and ugly i know how he feels right now i'm just roasting myself <laughs> this guy's immune he's tough he's gluttonous this guy is decked 
out. He is in full copper armor, except for some of it's not really comfortable for him. And a nice bow. Wow. Yeah. So Velaki's about to hit 300. They are booming right now. Are we going to see it? Are they going to hit 300? Nope, they just did. Nice. Burger Town is still struggling to even maintain 250, so something's going on up here. The people are just not able to sustain life in a way that's efficient for growing their economy. Uh, their economy is doing well, but sustaining a large population is just not working out for them. Vonador, we've been not paying attention to these guys enough. Let's check them out. The people are generally happy. They are surrounded by mountains, which, I mean, for a dwarf, you want to probably be underground or, or around mountains. So I, I would assume that this is probably as happy as they can get, although they just don't have a lot of land. You know, they're, they're really stuck in a hard spot. I do think that they'll be able to get up in numbers, and they might be able to crawl. I don't think they will. Maybe if they swim, they can cross over here, but there's not really much to, to go off of. That's a long journey, and they're not going to settle this because we have turned off Kingdom Expansion. So these guys are not going to create anything. The Loki is strawed. Iron will is just forcing these people to work as hard as they can. Breed up soldiers. He has the personality of an administrator. Um, let's see what our king looks like down here. He is the personality of also an administrator, which is good for O Fortuna. He's a diplomat. It's good. And let's see what theirs is here. He's a militarist. Our life for Andre. Is that a guy? Andrew? Andre. Let's say our life for war. Well, uh, let's say our life for or because they're they're dwarves, you know, they want to do stuff. And then let's see what these guys motto is with body and rock. Hmm, sure. If you want to make your motto with body and rock, go ahead for it. Um, with body and rock, would that be your motto or Fortuna? Um, let's check out to see how I think it's time that we introduce a little bit of chaos into this world. We're going to turn on other disasters and natural disasters. And we're going to let these happen as they will. You know, they'll they'll pop in. We're almost to the year 400. You can see we've just got our first rainstorm pop up right here. About to go over to Lockheed, which is pretty accurate. Oh, it's, oof. it's catching the, the people on fire. I mean, this person is skin burned, played with fire, and lost. Oof. This looks like they're just just bugged. This does not look good for anyone. If there's if they're still there in a couple minutes, we'll, we'll fix that. O Fortuna, they are like, aren't they elves? And they're, they have destroyed the trees in the area. They've got one tree, one measly tree, two trees. Okay, they've got a couple trees. I, I exaggerated. Oh, they're making a dock. They're finally making a dock. Everyone is doing really well, except for these poor dwarfs. I mean, they just, these poor guys just can't catch a break. They are on the smallest island. They don't have a whole lot going for them, technology-wise. Burger Town finally just hit 300 population. They've got silver, which is really good. They've got they've got trading and trading efficiency. If only they would start getting trading boats or like um, transportation boats. That is gonna change everything. Whoa! We just got a meteorite, and it literally hit nothing. Nothing at all. All right, well, right now we've got at least about four factions. I think before we end this video, I think something evil needs to happen. Stratvon Zarevich, our evil Lord of Alaki, has been in cahoots with an evil entity. Here we have a necromancer. We're going to say Stratvon Zarevich has sent a necromancer to the nearest village, being Van Ador. And this is gonna be Babalazaga. Babalazaga is gonna be an evil witch. He's gonna be arriving with a little bit of an escort. But Babalazaga has been sent by none other than Strahd von Zarevich himself, whose population is just dominating everyone else's by nearly a hundred, bare minimum. They are fully just working their butts off, and they have conquered the vast majority of this island down here. Burger Town is possibly the only hope to stop Strahd von Zarevich, Ronald, their hero, their king, an honest genius, 
might be the only hope left. But we'll have to see what happens next with Von Ador as Baba Lazaga is about to invade their island. But thank you guys. If you enjoyed this content that we made here today, please don't forget to press the like button, subscribe to the channel, and if you uh, have any other ideas for the next video that I'm going to make, go ahead and put that down in the comments or just say anything that you might think. Uh, if it's there's a good idea for the game to do an update or an update that could happen in my own personal game here for World Box. Go ahead and put it down in the comment section. But I want to thank you guys for watching the video and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. See you guys. Have a great day. Bye bye.